Welcome to my first official episode of my Trace McSorley career mode. If you guys missed the last video where I talked about this career mode, I definitely recommend going and watching it. You guys will have a better understanding of the background and why Trace McSorley is now on the Giants and who else is on this team. You guys can all figure that out in that last video. But right now, we have to take on the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots. If you guys have watched my previous career mode where I made myself in Madden, I did two games an episode, and I'm going to continue that trend here. So we will take on the Bears and the Patriots in this one. The team is, like, okay. It's not phenomenal. It's actually pretty bad. It's not even okay. The team is not good. I think we got better, though, in the offseason and the draft. Of course, in real life, the Giants will likely select a much better quarterback than Trace McSorley, but just to make an interesting career mode, he is now on the team. We do have an experience point after simming by the preseason, so we should go up to a 71 overall, but let's see. I think I want to stay with the scheme fit just to get more experience. I'd like to go into like strong arm at some point to get up throw power and whatnot, but right now I want to see if I can just make the gap a little bit larger between scrambler and the mo and the next closest. So one to break sack, one to throw accuracy mid, two to throw accuracy short. Not actually that bad. So West Coast is a 70 overall, Scrambler 71. I just don't want West Coast to go to 71 and then me be considered a West Coast quarterback because then I wouldn't fit the scheme, wouldn't get more experience. You guys know how it goes. But right now, we can check out the Bears roster. Also, I turned on injuries. I had them off for the preseason. They should be on for the regular season. But let's check out the Bears roster here. Let's see who they drafted. Mitchell Trubisky, still the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Tariq Cohen, Jordan Howard, Mike Davis, the running backs. Tommy Bahannon, the fullback. Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, Anthony Miller, the wide receivers. Trey Burton, Adam Shaheen, the tight ends. I think, was that a rookie tight end down there? Josh Oliver, looks like it's 74 overall. Charles Leno Jr. starting left tackle, James Daniels starting left guard, Cody Whitehair the center, Kyle Long the right guard, Bobby Massey at the right tackle, not that bad of an offensive line, actually a pretty strong one. Akeem Hicks, beastly right end, or left end, definitely have to look out for him. Brian Burns, I think he was probably their first round draft pick starting at right end. A bit of uh, a scheme issue, unless he's rushing off the right end, playing like right outside linebacker almost, but as like a true right end. For this, like a 3-4 right in, he doesn't really fit. 249 pounds, 85 speed, definitely more of an edge rusher. Eddie Goldman, 87 overall defensive tackle. Shelby Harris also here. Khalil Mack, of course, off that left side. He is going to be a problem. Roquan Smith, Danny Trevathan, Nick Kwiatkowski, the middle linebackers. Leonard Floyd, the right outside linebacker. Justin Hollins also here. Kyle Fuller, 89 overall number one corner. Have to look out for him. Terrence Mitchell, Levi Wallace. Levi Wallace is on their team? He's not actually on their team, right? He's on the Bills, I'm sure, and I'm sure the Bills re-signed him. Maybe he was an undrafted free agent. I think that's what somebody in my Bills rebuild told me. So I guess the Bills didn't sign him back in this franchise, because I'm pretty sure he's not actually on the Bears right now. He could be, who knows. Eddie Jackson, one of the best free safeties from last year. Incredible range. Have to look out for him. Strong safety. Haha, -ha, Clinton Dix on this team right now. Giorgio Tavecchio starting at kicker. Ryan Allen starting at punter. So the Bears, very strong roster. Extremely good defense. We have to look out for that. Hopefully we can minimize the mistakes, and I really need Saquon Barkley to run all over this defense, but I don't think it's going to happen. The first game of Trace McSorley's career is going to be away at the Bears Stadium. It's not going to be an easy one. The Chicago Bears probably have the best defense in the NFL, a top five defensive player in Khalil Mack rushing off that left side. Also pretty versatile. He can play coverage if you need him to. He has a couple interceptions in his career. He's great at stripping the ball loose. I'm not sure how good he is at doing that in the game. But they also have an efficient offense. You know, Mitchell Trubisky, a solid quarterback. A good running back duo because they still have Jordan Howard. And then Trey Burton, a great tight end. 89 overall, 90 catching as well. He can also block really well. He's a very well-rounded tight end. So the defense has to step it up for sure. And Trace McSorley just has to have a solid game. No turnovers if possible. I want to implement Saquon a ton in this offense. So I think I'm going to be looking at him here, if he can get open. Maybe Evan Ingram on the sidelines too. Actually, I'm just going to dump this one down to Saquon Barkley. He's going to break out of two tackles, fight with a couple other defenders as well, and pick up the first down. Trace McSorley's first pass attempt goes for a first down. I think I have B open. There we go. Is that Benny Fowler? I think it is. Solid completion there from McSorley. Good pocket presence. Way to stay in there and deliver a bullet. There we go, Saquon Barkley. Great blocking by the Giants offensive line, all their tight ends and whatnot, and Eddie Goldman actually gets injured on that play. There's Saquon's first nice run of the season. 
I have RB open, but I don't think that's going to be a first down. Unless Saquon can make some magic, he actually can. I'm going to be so happy to have Saquon Barkley on this team, man. I, I knew it was going to be awesome having him on the team, but I'm actually realizing how like much different this is going to be from my past player career. Because on my player career, when I was on the Buccaneers, I had no sort of running game. We're going to take off here with McSorley. Use his legs for the first time. Trace McSorley, he's going to score that touchdown 19 yards out. Great blocking downfield from the receivers and the tight ends and whatnot. The people, you know, closer to the end zone. That was a perfect first drive. Sterling Shepard over the middle. I threw that a little too early, I think. I saw the one linebacker blitz in and I got kind of worried that I was going to get sacked soon. That's all right, though. Definitely not all bad. We actually got a turnover there. That was a pretty big play. If you can, you know, see where we have the ball right now. That was actually a huge play to get a turnover. I think I'm going to run it. Come on, Saquon. Cut this one back to the left. It's probably going to be pretty open there. Just right up the middle. There you go, Saquon. Good spin move as well. There's going to be a flag. That's probably holding. Dump this one off here. Evan Ingram on the drag. Close to a first down. I think he gained 11 yards. Is that going to be enough? It won't be. I'm actually going to go with the pass. I feel like Saquon might not pick it up. I'm going to throw it to Saquon, actually. Okay, so I didn't run it with him. Okay, hold on. A lot of stuff happened there. I didn't run it with him. I ended up passing it to him. He gets slammed, fumbles it. Number 61, though. Able to pick it up. That's actually Dalton Reisner. The rookie right tackle. Way to be there. Taking a shot here. Sterling Shepard going to come down with it. What a play there by the slot wide receiver. I need to get him a lot more involved. I'm excited to use him on this team, too. Can you please substitute out... Saquon Barkley look at him I can't make any subs right now he was red a second ago now he's orange you know his uh you know icon there was orange meaning that he is tired so I don't know about this I don't know about this I'm gonna go with the play action maybe we can hit Sterling Shepard in stride here for a touchdown no but Evan Ingram is open throw this one to him he's a very fast tight end completely blew by Roquan Smith he's actually like just as fast that's a handoff there for Saquon just go down don't die all right, Saquon is going to fumble. I think he might be down, though. Let's see. He fumbled twice on this drive, which is not good, but I definitely think he was down on that one. It's going to be a booth review. I'm going to skip this. I'm pretty certain he was down. There we go. It's going to be overturned. Nice job. I'm going to run this one to this right side with Trace McSorley. He's not going to pick up the touchdown. No, he fumbles, and it gets recovered by the Bears. That could be a safety. That is going to be a safety. What is going on? <laughs> Wait a second. Trace McSorley almost picks up a touchdown. Turns out he fumbles it at like the half yard line. The Bears scramble to recover it. They end up recovering it. But then whoever does recover it. Okay, so it's going to be Kyle Fuller. I think he... Re no, wait. Yeah, okay. He recovered it at the end and then fell into the end zone and got tackled for a safety. All part of the plan. That's all I got to say. A is pretty open on the sidelines here. Evan Ingram. Great throw there by Trace McSorley, too. Evan Ingram makes the grab. And all of those, uh, you know, helmets on the sidelines are significantly, you know, a lighter blue than the rest of the team. But okay. Wait for a second. I think Golden Tate's going to be open. Beautiful pass by Trace McSorley. Golden Tate finding the gap in the zone. This offense is not bad whatsoever. They're clicking today. Okay, maybe we can get our first passing touchdown here with Trace McSorley. I'm looking at Golden Tate over the middle. Here we go, my man. Golden Tate. There we go. Very easy touchdown. We should be going up here by, what, like nine points or something? Let's go. Saquon, take this inside zone for, for her touchdown. I have faith in you, my man. Okay, you're going to get to the second level. Go down nearly in the middle of the Bears logo. He's having a great first game, too. Let's see if Golden Tate can get open on this third and five play. Looking at him for sure. I had him. I had him. Why did I check that down? I didn't trust McSorley's arm for a second. I definitely had a couple players in the middle. That was so stupid. Right when I hit A, I noticed I had more players open. It turns out we somehow have the ball within the red zone again. Don't really know what happened here, but it's third down and nine. Let's not make any mistakes. Let's see what we can do here with the football. I'm going to have X open. Sterling Shepard's going to catch it. Not enough for a first down. I'll take a timeout to give the kicker enough time to make this field goal. We knocked through that field goal, so the score is 19 to 10. They actually kicked a field goal on their first drive, so that's actually why it's 19 to 10. We'll start off with a run here, though. Saquon Barkley up the middle, not going to be able to get by Leonard Floyd. Evan Inger, maybe like right away. I'm tempted to audible this to a slant. Well, it's not though. Let's keep it going here. 
Oh, Evan Ingram's going to be open. There we go. Evan Ingram staying in bounds as well. All right, he's going to go down at the 37-yard line. We're having a great first day right now. Saquon on this draw play, going to make a man miss as well. He, like, never goes down to the first contact, and I love it. Saquon up the middle again. This is going to be a counter play this time for another first down. I think that was a gain of 11 there. He's having a great day right now, too. This offense, man, it's clicking today. I think we should be able to get another passing touchdown here. Sterling Shepard, catch this, my man. Boom. There we go. Sterling Shepard into the end zone for our second passing touchdown today, but third total touchdown. Chase McSorley having a great game in his first NFL you know, day here. Let's see if we can get this two-point conversion, too. I hate doing this. It is kind of cheesy, but we're just going to do this again. Golden Tate should be able to take up this two-point conversion. Boom. There we go. We're up 27-10 to 10 against the Chicago Bears. The defense is playing super well today, too. 27-10. to 10. We got the ball back. Still in the third quarter here. Let's see if we can get a read option going. I'm going to keep this one myself for sure. Trace McSorley picking up a first down. I'm not trying to die. So let's slide down after that. Golden Tate, there we go, on the slant. What a juke move as well. Juking Kyle Fuller out of his cleats. Jameez Alawala, you have to block. Is that, uh, is that Eddie Jackson? I think it is. Come on. All right, Jameez Alawale actually didn't even end up blocking Eddie Jackson, but he didn't have to. Saquon Barkley's so much room. Jukes to the left, though, for some reason. Still, though, very solid gain. We made the field goal. The score is 30-17. Convincing game right now. Let's not blow it, though. Saquon Barkley, first down handoff. Not a great gain, but at least he picked up something. Saquon on this screen. This should be really open. Has blocking downfield as well. Saquon down the sidelines. Going to get pushed out of bounds by Roquan Smith. But that was a nice game there from Saquon. I didn't even know we had this play. We're going with a halfback pass. I don't even care if this gets picked off. Let's do it for the memes. Saquon, come on. Throw this. Okay, that actually wasn't a terrible throw. Like, Sterling Shepard was almost a little open, but it's all right. Evan Ingram, that was a crazy athletic play by Danny Trevathan. How in the world did he do that? Okay, was not expecting that one. We should have this game in the bag unless something crazy happens. 30-17, to 17, 3 minutes and 43 seconds left. I'm liking keeping this one on the ground. Saquon Barkley, that was a great pickup, though. And I think it was Danny Trevathan who was screaming up the middle. He's going to pick up three more yards. Third down and two, going with the read option once again. It's worked very well so far. Leonard Floyd has no idea who to cover. Let's see what happens here, though. He's going to go after Saquon again, so I'm just going to run it. Slide down, probably for the last play I'll show in this one. We should come away victorious now. We finished this game winning 30-17. to We had control, like, the entire time. Comfortable lead, you know, after the first quarter there. Take a look at the quarterback comparison. Mitchell Trubisky had more yards than we did, actually threw 15 more times than we did. Had two touchdowns, but also threw two interceptions, so Trace McSorley definitely played better. Saquon Barkley could not connect on his one pass attempt. I don't know if I'll show it, but I called a halfback pass for the memes and it didn't work. He had a great day running, though. 161 yards for Saquon. He did fumble, actually twice. One of them was overturned. Uh, we ran the ball 10 times for 61 yards with a touchdown, and we also fumbled, which isn't good. Evan Ingram, 5 for 81, solid day. 5 for 49 for Saquon, 4 for 38 for Sterling Shepard, 4 for 55 for Golden Tate. Both Shepard and Tate scoring touchdowns, and then Benny Fowler caught a 22-yard completion very early on. Actually, no sacks led up today. I'm sure it would have been highlighted there. Defensively, Devin White, 15 tackles. Solid performance here from the rookie. Two tackles for loss for Devin White. One sack, Marcus Golden, Devin White, each, uh, you know, they shared a sack. Devin White had two interceptions, too. He's going to be amazing. One thing I did forget to mention, though. Near the end of that game, on one of the last few plays, Dalton Reisner got injured. How long is he out for? Okay, good. He's not going to be out for an extended period of time, which is very nice to see. We have another experience point to use. Let's get into that. I'll probably go back into Scrambler again. Like I said earlier, like, I really want his throw power to get upgraded, but I want him to comfortably fit the scheme first. And as of right now, he does not comfortably fit the scheme. That got up, break sack by two, throw accuracy mid, throw accuracy short, throw under pressure by one. Maybe next time we'll just go into strong arm, see what happens. 
But now, we have to take on the New England Patriots, who probably still have Tom Brady. Let's check out if they do. Tom Brady at 42 years old. The starting quarterback, Daniel Jones, backing him up. James White, Sony Michelle, Jarvie and Franklin. I have no idea who that is, but two very good running backs above him. James Devlin, the fullback. Josh Gordon, Julian Edelman, Philip Dorsett to the wide receivers. They also have Greg Dortch. Very young rookie there. Rob Gronkowski, even though he retired in real life, he is on the team now. TJ Hawkinson. That'd be a good selection for them in real life. He's a phenomenal tight end, and of course Gronk did retire, so maybe they're preparing for that now. Isaiah Wynn, the starting left tackle. Jeff Tooney, left guard. David Andrews, the center. Shaq Mason, the right guard. Marcus Cannon, the right tackle. The same offensive line. Michael Bennett coming over from the Eagles at left end. Dietrich Wise Jr. starting at right end. Lawrence Guy, Mike Pennell Jr. at defensive tackle. Kyle Vinoy, left outside linebacker, but there's a rookie, I think, down there. Oh, Shane Zimenez. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's how I imagined it would be pronounced. Talented pass rusher there out of Old Dominion. Jawan Bentley, Landon Roberts, the middle linebackers. Dante Hightower, right outside linebacker. Gary Johnson there as well. Stephon Gilmore, one of the best corners in the NFL. Probably was the best corner this past year. 94 overall. Jason McCourty, still solid even though he's 32. And then JC Jackson at uh, the number three corner. Devin McCourty, starting at free safety. Duke Dawson Jr. right behind him. Patrick Chung, Deron Harmon, Andrew Wingard, the starting strong safeties there. I, okay, they can't all be starting strong safeties, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Ryan suck up the kicker. Corey Fatoni, the starting punter. We are getting tested quite early in this season, having to take on the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots back-to-back, -back, both top teams in the NFL. We definitely have to look out for the Patriots' offense. Where our, well, I guess our defense has to look out for their offense. I am confident that we can move the ball against this defensive squad, considering we were able to do so so well against the Bears, who have a better defense. Our defense, though, definitely needs to step it up. They played well against the Bears, but Trubisky's no Tom Brady. You know, they don't have a Gronk on that team. The Patriots have a very scary offense. Great running back duo. So we definitely have to uh, hope the defense plays well. Solid start there on the defensive side. We do have the ball at the 9-yard line, so quite a way to go to score a touchdown, but it's okay. At least we didn't let up any points. Starting off here with a run to Saquon Barkley. Going to spin out the strong safety and keep going for a gain of 13 on first down. Way to go, Saquon. Saquon really is something else, I got to say. Let's see if we can get Sterling Shepard, though. Open on this play. I think he might be. No, I don't really like Sterling. Never mind. Man, I should have thrown that to Sterling Shepard. Right when I hit A again for Evan Ingram. I feel like that happened last game. Right when I hit A, I saw, I saw Sterling Shepard coming wide open. Should have been a bit more patient. I can't really complain too much, though, because that was another first down. But still, that could have been a huge gain. They're blitzing that strong safety. Let's shift the protection to that side. Saquon's going to break out of that tackle. And he's going to go for a touchdown. No one's stopping him. Wow, he sheds one tackle attempt, and he's just gone. Just completely outrunning everyone on that Patriots defense. Way to go, Saquon Barkley. The defense got a turnover. If that's Devin White again, if he has three interceptions in two games here, I'm going to freak. Let's give it back to Saquon. See what he can do here. Going to lower his shoulder, break out of some more tackles, and is he going to be gone again? Saquon Barkley. There's no way. Stephon Gilmore is probably going to catch up to him. But oh my good God. Saquon, three carries, 140 yards. We haven't really been able to do much after that Saquon run. Let's see if we can pick up this uh, first down on third down, though. I'm going to throw this one to RB. It's not going to be a first down, but at least we completed the pass. I didn't even look at the streaks on the outside, those outside wide receivers, but it's okay. We can take a field goal here. Sterling Shepard, I think I'm going to take the shot to him. Beautiful throw. That's actually going to get dropped, though. Great pass break up there. That was an excellent throw, so can't really fault Trace McZorley as I think someone just, like, his arm went directly through his neck the entire way. Okay, that was strange. His head should have been cut off. Here we go. First down and 10. The Patriots scored. The score is 14 to 10. Handoff going to Saquon Barkley again. He just does not go down. Five carries, 151 yards. Let's keep feeding him. Maybe he can break the record for rushing yards in a game. My first read, I think, is going to be Sterling Shepard. I actually might just run the ball here. Saquon, I believe you can pick up this first down. There we go. Why did you spin? Okay, he got the first down, but that was way closer than it had to have been. <laughs> that went straight to you. That's not my fault. Come on. At least you made the tackle, but man, that was supposed to go to Fowler on the outside. 
Let's try to get this out route going to Sterling Shepard. That was a beautiful pass. Probably an even better catch. I don't know how he came down with that one. Devin McCourty. Or Jason McCourty. I think it was probably I think it was the cornerback. Absolutely just shadowing him that whole way. Saquon Barkley inside zone to the outside. You should have kept going that way. No, I think Sterling Shepard got the block and everything. Ah, that's okay though. Evan Ingram could be wide open on this on this seam route here. Let's see if he's gonna be. Evan Ingram. Very open. He's not gonna come down with it. You guys gotta make these grabs. Stefan Gilmore, excellent play there, but man, I wish he could have caught that. Golden Tate's open on this slant. He's gonna catch it. Not enough for a first down, though. It's gonna be fourth down and one. At least we can take a field goal here. Okay, we are down by eight points. One possession game if we can get a two-point conversion. Let's go with the run play here to Saquon again. Cut that to the outside. That's exactly what you're gonna do. Saquon Barkley, man. That was great blocking, I know, from the Giants, but great vision to at least cut that to the outside. Evan Ingram wide open. Great throw there by McSorley. Evan Ingram gonna go down at the 35-yard line. Let's get a touchdown on this drive. There we go. Golden Tate on that slant very quickly for the first down. There we go. Trace McSorley taking this handoff. Cut this back in the middle. Man, I tried to I tried to uh, accelerate well, but it didn't really work. Got the first down, but I was hoping to get a touchdown on that one. I don't want to force anything. Keep the ball on the ground. Saquon Barkley, let's get it, man. Cut this one to the left side. I feel like that's going to be the better option. Actually, he's running straight up the middle. Going to roll over Devin McCourty for the touchdown. His second on the day. That's what I like to see. We got the hold. We have the ball at the 17-yard line. Have, like, the entire field to go. But we at least need a field goal on this drive to take the lead. Saquon Barkley running this one on first down. Nowhere to go. Dante Hightower with the stop. Saquon, though, nearing it on 200 yards. I think I like Evan Ingram here on the sidelines. Close to the sidelines, I guess. There we go. Big completion. We are finally over 100 yards. Gotta be honest here. We are not having that good of a game. It's very obvious to tell, but let's take this read option. Let's see if we can get this one going. This is a keeper for me. Here we go. Trace McSorley, I'm gonna try to juke. I actually got the juke as well. Jawan Bentley goes down. He actually picked us off earlier, so I'm okay with that. Evan Ingram on this slant, wide open. Way too quick to cover. There we go. Down to the 29-yard line. Lawrence Guy also goes down with an injury. Third down and 17. Need to pick up at least a little bit to make this field goal a little bit easier. I can't even complete the pass. Evan Ingram was kind of open, too. Trace McSorley, his arm has not been great today. Can we make the field goal, though? It's a big kick. We did not make it. But we do have the ball back again. Okay. All right. Let's snap this ball. Run play up the middle. Saquon Barkley. Cut this one back to the outside. Getting another massive gain. Spinning by two players. Saquon Barkley. No way you house this one, too. Oh, my God. Saquon Barkley. Dietrich Wise also goes down, too. But, my God. Saquon is the only reason why we are even, you know, in this game at all. But I'm going to throw uh, Sterling Shepard on a streak. Let's see if he can beat by that corner. He's not going to be able to. Our B, though, is open. Golden Tate, another first down. Look at Sterling Shepard, deep down the middle of the field. I'm actually not really liking him. I'm throwing this one to Saquon. I don't want to try to force anything in there. McSorley's arm has been iffy today. I don't want to, like, force it in a tight coverage, overthrow it or something, and have it get intercepted. So I'll take the safer bet, and hopefully we make this field goal. We didn't make it again? Did we just miss him or what? Like, come on. Aldrich Rosas. He's an excellent kicker in real life. What's happening? Okay, we have the ball back again. First down and 10. Let's start off through the air. Maybe try to throw this one to Sterling Shepard on the comeback. It should be open. I'm going to throw this to him. Shepard on the outside makes the man miss as well. Keep going. You're not going to be able to. McCordy brings you down. Kind of had to deal with both McCordy brothers on that one. But uh, he actually made it work very well. Saquon Barkley up the middle, breaking out of some more tackles. Taking another first down here. 275. I think he's, what, like 22 yards short of breaking the record? I think it's 296. It's something like that. We don't have to do anything stupid. I believe in Hunter Grossas to make a kick, even though I think he missed two others today. Let's take this run to the outside. Trace McSorley. I'm just going to slide. Again, like I said, not going to try anything stupid. 63 yards again here for McSorley. I don't know why I said again. I think I was in my mind, I was thinking that we had 60 plus last week, but I don't think it was exactly 63. I'm just going to run the ball again with Saquon. 
I believe that he can pick up this touchdown here. Let's get it, Barkley. Up the middle. He's going to pick up another touchdown. 25 to 21 is the score right now. We are going to win this game against the Patriots. That was a very close one. Honestly, we won this game just because of Saquon's performance. Saquon Barkley was absolutely phenomenal in this one. I can't believe he broke off like three plays for like 50 plus yards or at least nearly 50 yards. It's unreal. All right, well, let's check out these stats more in depth. We did not play too well today. Had one interception. That wasn't really my fault per se because uh, like me playing because like I hit the right button. The player was open. I think I was pretty set. It was just a really bad throw by McSorley. Tom Brady, though, 327 yards, three touchdown, one interception. Three touchdowns, one interception. We had uh, 200, almost 200 yards, 193, 60% completion percentage, and one interception. Not a great performance, but Saquon Barkley, 285 yards, three touchdowns. We did tack on 63 rushing yards, though, which isn't too bad. Golden Tate, 4 for 35. Evan Ingram, 4 for 77. Sterling Shepard, 3 for 58. Saquon, 3 for 17. And then Benny Fowler down there, 1 for 6. No sacks let up. The defenses or the offensive line's playing really well. Al Gogol, three, seven tackles. Janoris Jenkins, 12. A couple tackles for loss here. Two sacks, though, from Josh Allen. Like to see that one from Delvin Tomlinson. Al Ogletree got an interception, and I have to see this. Aldrich Rosas, two for four. What are you doing? His longest was 39. Where did he miss him from? Field goal attempts, one to 29. He has two from 30 to 39. Which he made both of them. He, okay, so he missed a 1 to 29 yard field goal and then missed a 49 yard field goal, or 40 to 49 yard field goal. You hate to see it. That is going to do it for the first episode of my Trace McSorley career mode. You know, the first episode that actually had me playing the games. We are 2 0 right now, beating the Bears, beating the Patriots. Next week, we start a three game streak against divisional rivals, the Cowboys twice in weeks three and five, and then the Eagles in weeks four. We are actually the only team right now in the NFC East to have won. That's, okay, so well, that's after the first week. The Eagles, Cowboys, and Redskins, they, their games for this current week actually haven't been, you know, simmed yet. But we had a very successful first two games. Didn't play too well this past week against the Patriots, but Saquon definitely carried us. He played really well in the first game, too. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys were able to enjoy. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.